hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to do a boot windows and manjaro linux so this way we'll be installing manjaro on the same pc we're running windows and when we boot we select either we want to boot with windows or manjaro first we need manjaro iso file and then secondly we need rufus now let's head to our chrome browser and now let's download rufus Click on the first link over here, rufos.ie. Scroll down and then download Rufos for Windows. Rufos successfully downloaded. Now let's open a new tab and then search for Manjaro. And you can see the first page over here, which is to manjaro.org. Click on it. Now click on Get Manjaro down here and it will take you to the download page select x86 underscore 64 bits and you can see manjaro images now these are different desktop environments for manjaro which all works perfectly fine this is kde plasma this is xface and this is gnome they all work fine but i prefer plasma it's just my personal preference but you can use any of them you want so click on download and then select full instead of minimal we want to download everything in full so click on image and it should start downloading now i already have that downloaded and i'm just gonna cancel it now we can close our browser and then open our download folder and these are the two files we need now make sure you have at least eight gigabyte flash drive because we're gonna create a bootable disk with manjaro os now we're gonna use rufus to perform that operation so let's install rufus And Rufus is running. Now you can see the device section. We can't select it. So what you do now is connect your flash drive. And it should show up there. Now in my case, you can see my flash drive is 16 gigabyte, and that is fine. Now click on select under the boot selection. Just click on select by the side. And then let's choose our Manjaro ISO file. Open. Click on OK. Now click on start. Now it will create a bootable disk with Manjaro. This may take some time, but you just have to wait patiently. Click on OK. And it should start writing the image to our flash drive. Now while this is running, we have to confirm where we want to install Manjaro. So let's open disk management. So you can just search for disk management. now it should take you here and you can see the list of drives available on my pc which you can also see in my file explorer this is my backup drive with 145 gigabytes and you can see the partition right here and also this is another partition on my drive where mac os sonoma is currently running then this right here is where windows is currently installed and this year i have linux installed as well now I have three different OS running on this same PC. This is Mac OS, this is Windows, and this is Linux. Now we want to install Manjaro again. So we are installing Manjaro on this partition called Backup since we have 77 gigabytes free. So I'm gonna right click on the partition and then shrink volume. So we wanna shrink around 50 gigabytes for Manjaro. That should be okay to run Manjaro. But make sure you allocate more storage so you may have enough space to use Manjaro. So we can just click on shrink. But if you want to install Manjaro on your full drive, all you need to do is back up your files and then you can install Manjaro on whatever drive you have there and you don't need to partition it. But in this case, I want to partition my drive so I can have Windows, I have Manjaro and any other OS as well. So I'm going to right click on the partition and then click on new simple volume. Next, next assign a letter to this partition let's give it a name now i'm going to call it manjaro 2 because i have manjaro currently running on these same disks which i use as a day-to-day -day os so let's next and finish so right now you can see this is manjaro 2 where we are going to install manjaro now we can close disk management and then wait for our iso which is almost done with writing the data and we are done 
now we can click on close and we can restart our system and then start the installation now let's restart now hold f9 or f12 to boot into your bios it may be different depending on the pc you're using now select uefi and then your usb so we can boot from our usb and then hit enter Continue with boot with open source drivers. Now we can begin the installation. So click on launch installer. Select language next. Set your region next. Keyboard layout next and this is where we select the drive we want to install manjaro we can install alongside windows we can replace a partition we can erase the entire disk and then install manjaro so it depends on what you want you can also click up there to switch the drives you can see two drives on my pc so i can see the two drives listed here so you have to select the drive where you want to install manjaro in this case i want to replace a partition and then you can see the partition we created earlier the empty space there so i will just select the yellow label which specifies the partition we created and then you can see everything down there now we can just proceed with the installation you can manually partition if you want but i wouldn't really recommend that we are just going to replace the partition and it will do everything itself it will write data to the partition create efi for booting manjaro and place it in the right efi part as well now we can just click on next and then we have to set our machine name, username and password. And then next. I don't really want any of those software, so I'm just going to click on no office seat and then next. And then you can see changes that will be made to our drives over here. So make sure you confirm you selected the right partition so you don't ruin other operating systems running on the same drive but if you installed on a drive and replaced windows then you shouldn't even be worried about anything so we can just click on install install this may take some time in my case it took about 15 minutes and all done now we can click on restart and then continue with that now if you hold f12 f9 or whatever key you use to access your boot menu you should see manjaro right there you can remove your usb drive and then boot directly to manjaro so just select manjaro and hit enter and then you can see manjaro linux and my previous manjaro is also there you can see manjaro in two instances. that is because i have two manjaro os running on the same drive so we're just going to continue with manjaro linux which is the one i just installed Now we can log in with our password. Manjaro is really fast. This is 10 times better than Windows in some way. And here we go. So basically, this is how to do a boot Manjaro Linux and Windows on the same PC. It is really easy and shouldn't take you up to an hour. You can set your preferences and make changes to whatever you want. If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.